Hey, what's up, Bay? Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to play Nintendo 3DS games on your Mac computer using the Citra emulator. This is gonna be a complete guide on installing Citra, getting games, and playing them to the best of your computer's ability. I put a ton of work into this tutorial, and I would really appreciate it if you all hit that like button as it shows your support for this video. Anyways, without wasting any more time, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, so before we begin, this is some information that you need to know about Citra, so please listen closely. Citra is still being worked on and does not run at full speed on all Mac devices. The speed is mostly determined by your computer's CPU. For example, my mid-2013 MacBook Air does not run Citra too well because it's old and its specs aren't too good. However, my late 2013 Mac Pro runs Citra really well because it has great specs and its CPU is awesome. The better your CPU is, the better Citra will run your 3DS games. Most 2016 to 2017 Mac models will run Citra well, so the speed is determined by your computer. Now, to get the best performance out of Citra, make sure to use the same settings I'm going to show you in the tutorial and most importantly, that every other program is closed and Citra is the only thing you're running. When your CPU is dedicated to the Citra application, it runs at its best possible speed. Finally, as I mentioned, Citra is constantly being worked on and they also constantly release updated versions of Citra called Nightlies. These nightlies sometimes include great fixes or unintended bugs, so if one of the nightlies you download is having issues, you can try downloading another one and hopefully that will fix any crashes or bugs you may be experiencing. So with all that being said, now we can begin with the tutorial on how to get Citra, how to get your games and run to the best of your computer's ability. So the first thing you want to do is open your favorite web browser and paste in the URL the link that I have in the description below for the Citra Nightly downloads. Once you arrive at the page, you want to click on the Apple logo of the first Nightly to download the Mac version of Citra. So head to your downloads desktop or wherever your download goes and extract the Citra tar.gz file to get a folder like so. Now this folder will contain a lot of things, but the most important are the first three which you want to drag to your applications folder just as I am doing now. Once they're in your applications folder, head to your applications and we are going to open the Citra underscore QT file by right clicking on it, holding option and clicking on open. Now that we have Citra, we will need to get games for it to actually use the application. So remember to only download games you own as ROMs are legal backups of your actual games. So head back to your favorite web browser and paste in the URL the link that I have in the description for Zippertoe ROMs and you need to download decrypted ROMs for Citra. Any other ROM that is not decrypted will not work on Citra. So you can search for ROMs specifically by going to the Zippertoe search tab however this website has a ton of ads which can be annoying but it's definitely worth it to get your decrypted 3ds rom so for example you can search for something like pokemon omega ruby but make sure to download the one that in blue says 3ds decrypted roms because again citra will only play decrypted roms so once you find a game that you want to download all you have to do is scroll down and find the download links and from here it'll take you to a short s page which all you have to do is wait five seconds and then click on the skip ad at the top right and then hopefully your download will begin now these downloads are very big and they do take some time but of course i sped it up for the sake of the video and they are downloaded in .rar format so you'll need an application that's able to extract .rars like Theon Archiver X which I'll have linked in the description below. So once you have that application installed all you have to do is double tap on the .rar files and it'll give you a folder with the files inside. So once you have that folder try creating another folder called 3ds and this is where you want to put your newly downloaded .3ds file for whichever game you downloaded and then once you have your games in that 3ds folder we can head back to citra go to file at the top left and then open game directory then head to wherever you have your 3ds folder in my case it's in desktop 
and then go ahead and open it and it'll load all the 3DS games that you have in that folder in Citra. And you can easily play your 3DS games by simply double clicking on the game and it'll begin to play. But now we're going to learn how to mess with the settings of Citra. And the little bug that there is in Citra, if you try to make it full screen while you're already in a game, it'll kind of glitch out. So make sure that you're in full screen before you start playing a game so that the screen doesn't glitch out. Anyways, heading to Citra's preferences by going to Citra and preferences, we can take a look at the system where you can name your 3DS as well as you can go to the input and set your controls however you'd like. And then moving on to the next tab here are the settings. You want to make sure that you have the settings the same as mine and you can make your screens bigger by selecting larger screen. And then one of the coolest things is that you can bump up the native resolution. However, this will slow down your Citra a little bit. Um, so it's up to you whether you want to bump up the actual resolution in exchange for losing a little bit of frames per second. So right now you're looking at Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire which actually runs at 30 FPS all the time on my Mac Pro. However, as I'm recording my screen, it's lowering the FPS. But here is footage of me recording my actual screen with a camera and only having Citra open and as you can see it's running at 30 FPS which is super awesome. Unfortunately Pokemon Sun and Moon doesn't run at 30 FPS all the time when I'm out of battle or just in the open world it runs at 20 FPS but any other time it's at 30 FPS which definitely makes it playable and it is up to you all to just test out games and see how they run on Citra but as I mentioned before make sure that Citra is the only application open and make sure your settings are identical to mine except for the native resolution um, so that you can run Citra at the best possible speed and yeah that is pretty much it thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I truly appreciate it as well as comment down below how Citra runs on your computer and what computer are you using as I'd love to see different results as I was only able to test it on a couple of different computers. Finally, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe by clicking on my icon on screen to be notified whenever I upload a video because hopefully I'll be doing more Citra videos in the future and maybe you want to see those. Check out some of my other videos on screen as well if you're interested in those and as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing and welcome to the operation.